Hold on just a second. Is that the Game Station's logo on the Tales of Lumen YouTube channel? What an unlikely joining of forces. Unlikely yet still quite glorious. I think you'd all agree. It looks like the logo is actually specially crafted to be used on my channel and my channel alone. Except that's not the case. That is definitely not the case. If you guys don't know what the Game Station is just yet, you can head on over to youtube.com slash the Game Station or you can click on that button right there. Better yet, just head on over to my channel. Click on that button, it'll take you to their channel. You can find out all you need to know right there. They have a bunch of really big and really good YouTubers in their network. People like Husky Starcroft, Total Biscuit, The Yogs Cast, Jesse Cox, Dodger from Press Hot to Continue, and many more. Many, many more. So I'm absolutely honored to finally have joined them. It's really cool. It's like a dream come true, a YouTube dream come true. And that means that I can finally also start making a bit of money from uploading videos, hopefully, if I get some views on them, which happens every now and then, you know, a few views. So that's great. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm actually going to do something about that logo. That's not a final product. That's temporary. I wanted to make it fit with the theme a little bit more. It is looking a tiny bit out of place. Okay? Only a little bit. Tiny bit. I'll admit to that. But it's a work in progress. And I just wanted that up there so I could record a vlog about it. And call the vlog The Game Station. Wow. Yes, as I said, a dream come true, and I'm super happy about it. So thank all of you guys for the constant support. And, you know, obviously without you guys watching the videos, this would not be possible. And without you guys subscribing. So if you haven't subscribed just yet, and you're somehow watching this video, please do it. There, it's right there. I mean, no, wait, where's the channel? I don't, know, I don't even know where the subscribe button is. I'm such a terrible YouTuber. I'm so bad. But anyway, okay, okay. Now that that's out of the way, and we're all happy about it, and we're done being happy about it, I wanted to talk about this, right here. Now, if you didn't know what this is, this is Ultima 9 Ascension. Well, this is the box. The CDs are inside. I found, I was digging around, like, in our cupboards, and I found a couple of things that I really had to show you guys, and that I really want to use. I'm going to get some stuff framed to celebrate joining the game station. It's a very weird way of celebrating, but I'll do it. And, funny enough, it's not like any game station memorabilia or anything like that that I'm having framed, although that would be equally glorious. But, uh, you, I, I think I've shown you guys before, I have a cloth map that was framed that actually came from this, this box. They don't make games like they used to. They don't make these boxes anymore, firstly. Firstly. And they don't give this amount of stuff. This wasn't a collector's edition, okay? And you know what I got in this box? Let me show you. Get out of the way, mouse. Steel series. <laughs> oh, on the Steel Series mouse pad. Can you believe that? But, let me show you this. Okay, so firstly, um, this game I got like many, many years ago. I bought it for, I have even got the receipt over there. They give you a book, and it's a thick book. The game manual, okay? I must be careful with this, because I want this framed. Now, this is the one thing that I'm going to have framed. This is pretty much, the, this is all the Ultima games, images from all of them in one. Okay, and that being, that being Ultima 9, this last part here. Okay, and I'm going to have that framed in like a long, I don't know if you'd call that rectangular, but a long frame. It's going to have a, a frame, the frame is going to have a frame, <laughs> the image is going to be framed in a frame, basically. So, I want it in a long frame, and I want it up against that wall over there, okay, and then I want another frame of the exact same size, the exact same measurements. So I'm going to ask them to do that, to make a frame, I can't hold it in that hand, it's just awkward, having you guys in the other hand, in the right hand. It's wrong. So, I'm going to have that framed, and then along with that, I got that in the box. Along with the cloth map, along with the game, along with a thick manual, and then they also gave us this when we bought the game. And this is just amazing! I mean, they don't do this nowadays. They don't care so much about people buying... Hey, look at this, okay? These are, I think they're called virtue cards. Now, they look like that on the one side. Can you... Let me show, turn them around like that. There you go. It says Ultima on them. And they, there's one for each of the virtues. Okay, so there are some really, really cool pictures here. And what I want to do is, I'm going to put these in a frame as well. And I'm going to use what Riot Panda said, that she's got some uh, double-sided tape, acid-free double-sided tape. So it won't damage the cards in any way, and it will get them stuck there. And then obviously once they get them in the frame, they're going to be stuck there for good. They're not going to move around. But, look at these. Such amazing artwork. So I'm going to have them in a long line... 
I'm not sure how it's going to work exactly just yet, but in the long line, I'm going to try to get them in the same. It probably won't even fit, will it? Maybe I'll get two. <laughs> I'll get two. So four in the one and four in the other one. Who knows? But I want them framed and I want it done. It's going to look absolutely amazing. I, I just, I'm, I was so excited finding these. Oh, anyway. Okay. So that's it. I'm going to get that framed. And actually, I think that's all we got in the box. Maybe it's not as special, okay? It's not as much stuff as like the Mass Effect Collector's Edition. Where is the Mass Effect Collector? It's in there. There it is. It's down there. But it's still a lot of stuff. And that I got at a standard game price. Back then it was like 250 Rand, which is super cheap. But anyway, I'm enjoying Mass Effect 3. Wow. The game is so, so good. I'm actually uploading a Mass Effect video right now. And I suppose this latest video is not that interesting because I was just walking around the Citadel talking to everyone. But I can't wait to go on another mission. It is so much fun. And then at the same time, I actually get so, like a little bit irritated by all the people complaining about Why do people complain about Mass Effect? Why would you complain about that game? It, so far, at least, Mass Effect 3 seems absolutely amazing. And I know people are complaining about, like, different aspects of the game, like, firstly, the DLC, okay? But that's not going to make the game experience any worse. And then, secondly, they're complaining about... I think they're complaining about the ending. They said... Oh, and a photo of Tali. Okay, you know Tali is? She's the Quarian with the mask on. Apparently, they show her without her mask on. I didn't see it, but I heard that it's something like a stock photo that they took from some website. Now, apparently the photo looks really good, but tell me if you didn't know that it was a stock photo, if you didn't go out and Google it, or if some person didn't discover that it was a stock photo, wouldn't you have been happy with it? Because apparently the photo is really, really good, and people just don't like it because they think Bioware was lazy with it. So I'm not sure about that. And as for the ending, I don't know. People, you know, you had to play the entire game to get to the end. Firstly, okay, and I know the conclusion sort of matters, but people are giving the game a, a 1 rating or a 0 rate out of 10. Isn't that a bit ridiculous? Just because they didn't like either the DLC or they didn't like the last 20 seconds of the... I don't even know, okay. I'm nowhere near the ending and I've been trying my utmost to not spoil it for myself. So, don't spoil it for me, please. <laughs> if you do, it's not the end of the world, okay. I'm not going to hate you for spoiling it, but it's probably better not to... Because it'll make the playthrough that much more exciting. Anyway, so, that's actually all I wanted to talk about. We're going to eat now, some food. And tomorrow, or next week, I'm not sure, I'll take these in and have them done. And this. And then I'm going to move the map from my bedroom over here. And it's all going to be hanging around my little corner. It's going to be glorious. Okay, so I'll definitely record something when it's actually up. And the game station. Wow. That is so cool. I don't really know if it's going to affect anything for you guys. It probably won't. The only thing is that when you visit my channel, you'll probably see that Game Station logo up there now. So if anything, it's improving your experience. So that's about it. Um, I can just tell you to check back here soon for more, as I usually do. I'm currently uploading, and actually this will probably be up by the time the vlog is up, but there is a Mass Effect video going up over here, and on her computer, I'm uploading Skyrim. A huge Skyrim episode, 50 odd minutes. You're welcome. It was amazing. I loved that mission that I did in there. It was a lot of fun. So, I've also done Minecraft today, and I did some more Assassin's Creed today, and we're going to do some more Terraria soon, and I did Guild Wars news, and Diablo news is going to go up soon as well. Wow, there's just so much stuff happening. Can you believe it? And we might be going to the farm on the weekend because there's a bit of an event there, so we're going to go to the farm, and I'll probably record a vlog there, while I'm there, because it's much more entertaining. I mean, it's much more interesting than our orange office here. But anyway, that's it. That's it for this video. Check back soon for more. Most importantly, though, happy joining the game station. Along with me, of course, because you guys can share the experience. There you go. Happy that.